Incredible waterfalls, intimidating caves, irritating sights, islands on a river, mystic views and challenging hikes. So what is it we've missed in Laos? We've crossed the country by bus, bike and boat from the sunny south up to the cloudy north. During our 30 days in Laos, we found a lot to marvel, lots to explore, and we never really stopped. Always searching for more just to understand, even though we've experienced beautiful sights, to see what I really wanted to see, it was too late. We started our journey on Si Pandon, the 4,000 islands. While many Western people don't even know about the existence of Laos, others avoid the country because of its missing ocean side. But here is what they are really missing out. Five hundred kilometers further up north, we've explored incredible caves, formed throughout hundreds and thousands of years by the force of nature. And we explored our driving skills and patience on another five hundred kilometers around the loop, challenged by the force of gravel roads and potholes. Yet the thing that stood out to me was none of the caves, but an incredible sight of countless dead trees making what we see memorable in a disturbing and unique way. While most visitors in Bang Bien search for party, we search for the best view, bringing my family along to find it with us. And later then, escape to a village and a guest house you only know when you have been there. After saying goodbye, we went even deeper into the mountains. Finding ourselves a little puzzled in this place. Luang Prabang, some say the most beautiful town in Laos, home to a UNESCO World Heritage Village, displaying a unique fusion of French colonial building style and Laotian influences. Quite developed, very prosperous, nice to stay, nice to see, but didn't really feel like the rest of Lao to me. You should still go, not only to witness the privileged side of the country, but also to see incredible waterfalls. The Kung Si Falls are beautiful, stunning. and full of tourists. But you can explore the secret spot there. Which is not so secret anymore. It's still incredibly lovely. The last experience we made in this country included standing up at 3.30 a.m., starting the hike at 4 a.m. and be up on the mountain around 5 a.m. Even though I would have loved to have this place for my own, the people we found here have all gone through the same rough early hike. Silently, patiently, waiting in the dark for the beauty of the morning to rise. This was probably one of the most memorable moments not only in Lao but in all our travels. It was like a movie scene from one of those fantasy stories I love so much, but real and right in front of us. So that is all I can remember from now. But there is one thing that I can't recall. 
Since I started traveling, I was always so proud to be somehow able to connect to local culture. And I found out that the best way for me is not to do this through architecture, through food or some staged crazy experiences, but the best way for me is to connect through people. Yet there is no face and no conversation that I really can remember. Over the course of this one month, we have seen so much, even though we're traveling quite slow. And there is a lot left to see. But I feel like we did not even scratch the surface. We struggled for more, but somehow always ended up facing in the wrong direction. And every time I felt like someone would give us a little insight, open up to us, like we would make a step forward in this direction, they would, in the last moment, turn away somehow. Or maybe it was just us talking past each other. And I know this is not a thing everyone can relate to. For some people it is enough to see the world, just see it. But I would like to see more. I would like to learn more and understand more. What people do, how they do it, why they do it. While some might claim that it is impossible to do that because we're coming from different backgrounds. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe it is impossible, but I like to figure it out. I like to find out. And I also like impossible. And what I also like is to miss things out because it always makes a good reason to come back one day, right? Thanks for listening. Only love pirates.